Welcome to the Steve Troxler Agricultural Sciences Center. My name is Brenda Jackson. I'm the complex manager here, and we hope you enjoy this video tour of our facility. The facility is 225,000 square feet, which is comparable to five acres under one roof. We have laboratories, administrative space, and a number of meeting and training room facilities. A lot of the equipment that we work with, the purchase price exceeds my annual budget. So with the legislative appropriations that we received through the ASC project and the Golden Leaf uh, grant funding we received, I was able to purchase several pieces of equipment that I would never have been able to obtain otherwise. In our laboratories, we were able to take advantage of modern design methods so that we are flexible. We have a number of co-located spaces where operations can be shared amongst divisions and that allows us to provide more efficient workspaces. Commissioner Troxler's directive was to provide the employees with, yes, a state-of-the-art agricultural science, laboratory, and administrative office building that can serve our needs and the needs of the people of North Carolina for the next 40 years. But he wanted to give our employees the means of doing their work more effectively, efficiently, comfortably, and safely. Hi, I'm Dr. Jennifer Hoagland. I'm a veterinarian at the Rollins Animal Disease Diagnostic Laboratory. This is the Necropsy Laboratory at the Agricultural Sciences Center. This is where we will receive our animals that are being submitted for a necropsy. We have two large animal tables that we will place them on to do a necropsy. A necropsy is a word for an animal autopsy, and the purpose of doing a necropsy is to determine the cause of death or the cause of illness in a group of animals. We will look at all kinds of different animals here, uh, including farm animals, poultry, pets, zoo animals, and wildlife, for example, here. Necropsy Lab has the advantage of giving us more space to do more animals at one time. Also, it's a safer place to work in, and it gives us the ability to provide teaching experiences. Also, a bonus is that we have the ability to shut down the avian room and the extra large animal table room um, into a biosafety level three situation where we can contain high consequence and foreign animal diseases. This will help us protect North Carolina agriculture and our employees. My name is Marcus Eldridge, and we are in the Fuel Quality Laboratory. As we test all of the motor fuel significance that are sold at retail across the state. We also test special samples that are brought in by consumers who believe that they have a problem with the fuel, as well as oil companies that uh, suspect a problem with the fuel that was added to a tank. And basically, our primary focus is just making sure that the fuels that are sold meet the specifications required. The original uh, Fuel Quality Laboratory built in 1954 and the second wing was built in 1976 and what we found is that there was no space to actually um, meet the increased testing needs uh, of the industry that we serve. So beyond just modernizing the lab spaces with actual modern hoods and ventilation systems and environmental controls, we also took into account the need for natural light uh, to incorporate touchdown spaces so that the actual staff in the lab could have a place that they could go to finish up their paperwork or even just to take a break that wasn't surrounded by chemicals. Um, with the move to the ASC, we were also given an um, unprecedented opportunity to upgrade our actual equipment to more modern equipment. So this is this has really been a boon for us to move to this facility. Hi, I am Sharon Woodard. I am the Program Manager for Metrology at the Standards Division. Welcome to our lab. This is our calibration lab uh, where we test both mass, volume, uh, temperature, uh, length. So this is our precision mass lab. We do Monday measurements here. We test a variety of ranges from uh, 30 kg down to one milligram. We also do pound weights uh, ranging from uh, 50, 30 pounds down to 0.001 pounds. 
Um, these weights are typically used in our pharmaceutical departments or sections. This is our large mass lab. In this lab, we, we do ranges from weight carts all the way down to lottery balls. Um, this particular lab is where most of the time our heavy duty scale trucks come in, our tobacco scale trucks come in, um, NC lottery would come in. So this is not as tight a tolerance as a precision mass lab, but this is where the majority of our workload lies. This is our small volume laboratory. This is what we use to, our inspectors go out and test the gas pumps here. They'll go out with a five gallon test measure here um, and we'll calibrate that, make sure that it is delivering five gallons. And then this is our standard that we use to actually make sure you as a consumer is getting five gallons worth of gas. I'm Dr. Regan Converse. I'm the lab director for the Food and Drug Protection Division at the North Carolina Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services. And we're here in the Agricultural Sciences Center Molecular Suite, where we're better able to identify pathogens in food or um, feed products. Previously, when we were trying to detect or identify pathogens, we had to do a series of time-consuming and labor-intensive manipulations of cultures. Now we're able to do pathogen detection largely by DNA or an RNA detection. And that's what this suite was designed to do. We're in the ASC amplification room now. This room is used to um, do all of our molecular testing where our instrumentation is located. We have room for many more instruments than we had before. So previously we had about four and now we have room for 18. Having this much space and instrumentation allows us to respond quickly to outbreak events or large recall events. Whole genome sequencing is, a, sequencing is a new capability that allows us to determine the entire DNA or RNA sequence from a pathogen. That data is then shared with labs across the state, country, and world so that we can look at whether or not the pathogen that we isolated is related to any clinical cases or other pathogens around the world. This is a new and exciting capability that our labs are able to develop. I'm Lalita Pediridi, I'm the assistant director in the Diagnostic Laboratory System. We are in the BSM-3 laboratory space in the Steve Darksler Agricultural Science Building. So the Rawlings Animal Disease Diagnostic Laboratory, as a participant of the National Animal Health Laboratory Network, must always maintain a state of readiness for dealing with important foreign animal diseases and high consequence diseases such as African swine fever, highly pathogenic avian influenza, which required a very high level of biocontainment than the rest of the laboratory. So this state of the art laboratory space is maintained under negative pressure with dirty air staying inside the BSL-3 lab room and all the exhaust air is filtered. Access to these areas is very restricted. Only authorized staff personnel can enter these areas. So all these measures offer biocontainment of high risk human and animal pathogens and provide protection to our employees here and also agricultural communities in the state of North Carolina. Hi, I'm Dr. James Lindsay and we're in the chemistry session. Chemistry is divided into two sessions, inorganic, and organic. We are now in the organic chemistry section where we test various food, feed, and forages for pesticides and mycotoxins. Basically, uh, toxic chemicals produced by fungi, such as uh, those that cause mold. So our testing is important because it allows us to ensure to the public that their agricultural consumer groups are safe from harmful toxins and chemicals such as mycotoxins and pesticides. Some advantages of being here in, in the ASC are ease of use of shared resources and the ability to share resources that were not previously shared and enhancement in teamwork and on cross training opportunities, allowing us to more effectively serve farmers and agricultural consumers in general. 
I'm Jim Burnett, and we are in the administrative office area of the Structural Pest Control and Pesticides Division. And we're very fortunate in this center to have an abundance of incredible work and conference and meeting spaces. We have 20 conference rooms in this facility, including a large multi-purpose training room that can hold up to 140 individuals. For our division, that means we have been able to double our service to the people of North Carolina in terms of testing and exams by using the large conference room. It also provides us with a permanent home for the many boards, commissions, and committees with whom we work. By moving my division into this building, this is the very first time my entire administrative staff has been together in one building in our division's history. So it's improved our communications, it's improved our ability to serve the people we serve with our licensing, with our testing, with our certification facilities, and it's given our employees a place to come to work which they can be proud of. We're very fortunate to have this wonderful new state-of-the-art facility and it will serve our needs and the needs of the people of North Carolina for many years to come.